much uh, ladies and gentlemen welcome to the uh, next session we have uh, a very interesting session coming up here with two guests from the republic of korea and both these guests are uh, you know uh, courtesy mr suresh shukapalli the honorary consul general at honorary consul uh, consul consulate general of republic of korea in hyderabad mr shukapalli is the founder chairman of phoenix group he is a technocrat and a visionary who's taken a strategic leap from being an on automobile entrepreneur to you know various other industries like steel power cement and reality his passion for big enterprise can be gauged from where phoenix is today uh, and mr suresh shukapalli also envisions a greater future not only for phoenix but with his uh, role as the honorary general consul general at the uh, honorary consulate general of uh, republic of korea in hyderabad he also envisions a great uh, leap in relationship between india and korea sir i will uh, would like to invite you on stage and introduce uh, the guest and conduct the session today thank you very much thank you very much mr ravi shankar and also thank you to thai uh, uh, for this uh, wonderful global event uh, uh, which is happening for the last two days and uh, i congratulate the entire thai team and uh, uh, for their efforts in bringing the world together and uh, uh, promoting entrepreneurship in this uh, country uh, uh and uh, thank you for introducing uh, korea as a as a sector uh, as a channel uh, for the thai uh, global summit and we are uh, we really appreciate uh, thai for uh, uh, giving us this opportunity to promote uh, uh, korea uh, and uh, india ties i have with me uh, his excellency uh, the ambassador of republic of korea uh, mr shin bongkil uh, uh with us uh, uh, today uh, in this session and uh, uh, if uh, i may uh, introduce uh, uh, his excellency uh, 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 a short uh, you know career of his and uh, uh, his his uh, achievements in his life uh, uh, his excellency is a, a almost 40 year old uh, experienced uh, career diplomat and one of the uh, prominent diplomats from uh, Republic of Korea. And he has uh, earlier uh, been in several roles as special advisor at the Office of the Planning for North Korean Light Water Reactor Projects, spokesperson of Korean Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, and he was the Minister of Korean Embassy at, the, at Beijing in China. Then he was ambassador to Jordan. Uh, he was also the Secretary General of Trilateral Cooperation Secretariat. Uh, and uh, he was the President of Institute of Foreign Affairs and uh, National Security at the Korea uh, National Diplomatic Academy. He took over as the Indian ambassador uh, in uh, 2018 after the new uh, government uh, headed by President Moon Jae-in uh, joined. Uh, and uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, His Excellency is very, very passionate about uh, uh, the East Asia regional affairs and uh, his expertise is on North Korean studies and also the Korean Peninsula Energy Development Organization. Uh, His Excellency graduated from Seoul National University uh, and uh, he studied Chinese at the Beijing University and received his MA and PhD in North Korean studies uh, from the University of North Korean Studies in Korea. He has great passion in uh, promoting India and Korea relationships, and he is one of the uh, 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 person who had uh, promoted the uh, Ayodhya uh, uh, connection between Korea and India. Uh, for the viewers, uh, many of you uh, do not know that uh, uh, India and Korea has blood relation. Uh, so to say, uh, uh, the, the fairy tale goes that uh, one of the princes uh, from Ayodhya, uh, uh, a long, long back, uh, uh, went to Ayodhya, uh, sorry, went to Korea by a ship uh, to pursue her dreams. There she met a, uh, met a king and uh, married him. And uh, today, Many of the Kim's clan of Korea are belonging to this blood lineage. And uh, uh, today, 
government of Korea, because of the uh, uh, you know vision of uh, Ambassador Shin, uh, uh, they are creating a, a memorial in Ayodhya uh, with Korean investment in the memorial. And every year, about fifty thousand Koreans visit their ancestral uh, 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 you know city of Ayodhya. I would now uh, uh, request uh, Ambassador Shin to join us, and uh, we will have a, a, a chat with Ambassador Shin on, on uh, uh, the relations between India and Korea and how he plans to uh, develop these relations. Your Excellency, okay. Ambassador uh, Shin. Okay. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your kind introduction. And also, I would like to thank uh, to Thai's Global Summit uh, for inviting me for this uh, very uh, important uh, summit meeting. Actually, <clears throat> I, I heard that uh, the subject of this uh, uh, meeting and of, of subject of my uh, kind of remarks is on uh, entrepreneurship. And uh, I would like to you see directly to talk about it. And uh, I think India is perfect partner for uh, Korea. And we have uh, no historical uh, dispute, no conflict of interest. India is a big, big continental country and Korea is uh, much smaller than India. And we are not competitor. We have only commonalities to share. Uh, economy is also complementary. Uh, <clears throat> I think Korea has the strength to contribute to Olympia's <coughs> economic development uh, in, e in every way. Uh, you see, no better partner for its economic uh, transformation. Uh, if I name any uh, development priorities, if you name any pr development priorities uh, of the Indian government, uh, then Korea has the core competence in each of these fields to help India in a big way. Uh, for example, electronics, shipbuilding, car making, steel making, everything actually is semiconductor, all these highly high technology uh, area, Korea has a uh, 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 capability. And also, uh, you see, uh, also entrepreneurship wise, Korea's uh, entrepreneurs are well known in, in internationally that uh, their drive, their vision, their drive, and their sacrifice, their take, uh, risk taking, and uh, these entrepreneurs made Korea from the ashes to, to present a uh, very much developed country. So, and again, but uh, India also has uh, many genius in, in, in entrepreneurship. You have a uh, you have uh, top CEOs in Silicon Valley and uh, also important, you see, big uh, uh, you see, global companies, CEO, many are from, from India. That means that Korean and Indian entrepreneurs, are, they all share the same vision and same kind of uh, 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 sacrifice and same kind of uh, drive, which can be shared and uh, that's uh, what I would like first to talk about uh, see uh, what can Korea and India can uh, cooperate in this uh, entrepreneurship field. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, one thing you know, out of entrepreneurship, I would like to uh, uh, engage you with a, a small uh, history talk uh, uh, because uh, many of our uh, uh, global <coughs> summit members would uh, may not know what sacrifices Korea has done so far. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, to go back to the history after the uh, Korean War and the Japanese uh, invasion and, uh, uh, you know, how uh, Korea had come back so fast and, you know, how resilient they are and how they brought back the Korean economy to the world's top economies. If you can, you know, share your, uh, uh, you know, history, it would be a great... Uh, I, I first uh, would like to uh, mention about uh, see, the, the contribution of entrepreneurs. Yes. Actually, as you said, that Korea uh, was uh, nothing. It's uh, only ashes after the Korean War. Yes. And the entrepreneurs, the, I mean, that the founders, founding, uh, founding 
fathers of these uh, global uh, company like Samsung, LG, and also uh, Daewoo and Hyundai, they were the great entrepreneurs and they motivated people. They motivate people that Korean people are known as a very much hardworking people. Why? They, they were the model of these kind of uh, sacrifice. They motivate people and also a great leader of Korea. See, at that time that was started with the economic development with the uh, uh, President Park Jong-hee at that time. It's uh, or, or already a couple of decades ago. But he had a great vision and drive. Like uh, what I say that uh, Prime Minister Modi at this time, that uh, he all, always you see, give the vision like uh, making India, making Korea, manufacture is our way, export is our, our way of uh, you see, uh, development. And uh, as uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi, since uh, the time of uh, Gujarat, uh, you see, the, the, I mean, chief minister, he, he said that uh, he, he thought that the Korea is a model of India's economic development. And that's uh, why he is so like that. It's uh, because, you see, such a poor country started from a poor country through manufacturing. And now it's a top edge, uh, you see, technology power in the world. That all came from entrepreneurship. Motivation. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, what do you think how Korea is uniquely positioned to serve the interests and needs of Indian entrepreneurs and innovators? Okay, let me first share with you the positive news about Korea, Korea's present economic situation. The late, latest OECD report says that the Korea has taken the smallest hit to growth and fared well in COVID-19 pandemic situation. It has projected uh, Korea will register the highest GDP growth in uh, 2020 among the 30 OECD countries. And also will be at uh, number two in G20 countries after, uh, after China. That's great. Uh, yeah, this comparatively better performance of the Korean economy can be attributed to our very effective measures to contain and prevent the spread of COVID-19 uh, based on our successful strategy of three T's, test, trace, and treat. Uh, see, stress, as, as you all aware, Korea is well acclaimed for uh, entrepreneurial spirit of, of its people. Rising from the ashes of devastating Korea war, Korea has built a formidable reputation as one of the industrial powerhouse of the world. Singularly, the credit for this goes to the passion, courage, and risk-taking appetite for its uh, entrepreneurs. Today, Korean companies such as Samsung, LG, Hyundai, Kia, POSCO, and Tucson are the world leaders in their respective domain. So, and also Korea is highly ranked as an investment uh, destination. Korea ranked second in 2020 Bloomberg Innovation Index after Germany. It held number one position for, for five years in a row from 2014 to 2019. It ranks fifth in the World Bank's Ease of Doing Business Index. I, as far as I you know, India also, you see, went up very rapidly, but now it's uh, reached around 64th in the Ease of Doing Business ranking. Uh, <clears throat> Taking advantage of business opportunities, Indian companies have already made some large investment in Korea, actually. Right? Uh, some examples like uh, Tata Motors takeover commercial vehicle division of Korea's uh, Deo, Deo Motors and Adita Birula Group's acquisition of uh, uh, Alken Taihan Aluminium and the Mahindra's stake in Korean SUV uh, maker Sangyong. So I think that uh, for robust and mutually beneficial bilateral economic ties, it is very important that Indian business must flourish in Korea as much as Korean business in India. And that's my thinking. And uh, uh, okay, here I, I'll start. Uh, uh, Your Excellency, uh, what do you think uh, uh, the Korean entrepreneurial ecosystem is like? 
Yes, as like uh, Bangladesh is, uh, you see, the uh, venture town, Korea is also, as uh, we have our own Silicon Valley in, in, in the suburban area of Seoul. So Korea is also very much uh, technology oriented uh, industry. And in this uh, sense, we can, uh, we have uh, many uh, commonalities and the, the, the area of cooperation between uh, Korean industry in India. And uh, uh, you see, as I already said, this uh, uh, Korean, uh, uh, I mean, entrepreneurs, uh, their, their vision, drive, risk taking is legendary. And uh, I can say that we have a, uh, also important ecosystem, which uh, you see, promotes the entrepreneurship of uh, uh, businessmen. And how can we improve the trade, really, uh, the uh, partnership between India and Korea entrepreneurs? Actually, you see, compared to our biggest partner, I mean China, Korea's biggest trade partner is China. It's uh, almost every year our uh, two-way volume of uh, trade are uh, 250 billion. It's uh, almost 10 times of that of uh, India. So it means that uh, uh, we have still many rooms to explore in, in the volume of trade. And I think that uh, in increasing investment is the, the most important one, see? Korea's, if, you, if Korea can, if, if Korean companies uh, uh, in, invest more and more in India and Indian companies invest in more and more in Korea, then that make trade, you see, naturally make the trade volume bigger and bigger. I think so, of course, there are many trade issues of so these are minor issues, minor issues. Investment is more important. So, so I think, uh, uh... Uh, you know, uh, many Indian companies would like to look at Korea for investment destination. Mm -hmm. And uh, how does the Korean government uh, encourage uh, uh, foreign investment into Korea? And uh, are there any specific advantages for that? Oh, yes. Also, we have uh, many uh, 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 systems of encouraging foreign companies uh, to set up business in Korea. We have also India is invest in India, invest India. Uh, it's a government organization. Korea has uh, uh, invest in invest in uh, invest Korea. Uh, it's uh, it's under the umbrella of uh, Kotra, uh, Korea Trade Investment Promotion Agency, which uh, the head of this uh, South uh, Asian region, uh, Mr. Kim Munyong, will soon take charge. Yes. Actually, so I think that India, Indi, invest India was established yes. after looking at Korea's uh, example, mother, uh, invest Korea mother. So Korea is also very much, uh, see, <coughs> would like to induce uh, foreign investment like uh, India's. Uh, but the, as you say that Korea, Korea is compared to India, it's a much smaller country, land is, uh, is uh, much short than, than India. And also our labor, uh, you see, uh, labor price is much higher than, than you. So I think India is a more kind of a, a investment destination compared to India. But anyway, we are, we are very much like, you see, we would like to invite uh, Mr. Chairman, like uh, you and other important companies to Korea too. Mm. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. And uh, uh, since the session is getting over, would you like to give any uh, closing remarks? Yes, uh, actually, I uh, I visited uh, Hyderabad uh, yesterday and I met you there. Yes. And the Indian MEA uh, very kindly arranged a, a visit of uh, uh, important uh, ambassadors there. I would like to uh, thank MEA. And uh, uh, I met, uh, uh, I see, there I met uh, uh, a lady CEO of uh, Bio, bio, biologically, biologically, biologically. Yeah. yeah, Mahima Datla. Oh yes, yes, yes. And uh, when I, when we two introduced ourselves, then immediately she told me that uh, when the, this uh, COVID nineteen situation eases, 
Korea is the first uh, place he she would like to visit. Oh, wonderful! Oh, that was very moving. I I see. I found a big element of uh, you see hope, uh, increasing the cooperation between Korea and India. It so probably, very pro uh, Your Excellency, probably I'll bring a Thai delegation uh, along with Mahima to Korea. <laughs> okay, welcome, welcome you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Moon? Yeah, I am here.